Hi everyone, it's Karen here with a mixed media art journaling page tutorial featuring a resist technique with beeswax. Enjoy! I wanted to create a double spread in my Delusions journal, art journal, and I used uh, some paper towel to do so for the background on and to be able to cover the ugliness in the back of the paper. This is a used paper towel that I actually used to wipe off my working area uh, when I was using the Distress Oxide Inks in a video, another video that I created, which is here on my YouTube as well. And I'm linking it above so you can see how this paper towel was created. I, Because it's a two-ply paper towel, I split it in half because I could use both of them for the background. And I took some Prima Finabare Soft Matte Gel Medium and just glued it to the background. I love saving these paper towels because they're so colorful and they're perfect for backgrounds to give not only texture because paper towels have that really nice texture but also to give color to any background. I continued ripping and covering the whole page with pieces of paper towel and I only ripped the, paper, the towels in the place that um, it had color in it so any white areas I just didn't use and I did grab some other ones that I had in my stash to finish up on the borders. Once I finished placing all the small pieces of paper towel, I basically just uh, went with the um, soft matte gel medium and just sealed the whole page with it to prep it for the next layer. I recently got some beeswax and I just wanted to play an experiment with it. So this, I thought this was a perfect place to try this technique and put some beeswax in the background and melt it with my heat tool. One of the main properties of wax is that it repels water, so basically it would resist any materials, any mediums that are water-based, so this is why I tried this technique. Because these pellets are so light, when you start using the fan on top of them, it start, they start flying around, so I had to be very careful to kind of bring, it, bring the heat tool from the side so it would just melt in certain areas and not fly off the page. It's cool to see the beeswax melting and becoming liquid and basically sticking to the background and it makes it really nice and smooth.
Once all the wax was melted, I took some Prima Finavir heavy white gesso and basically covered the whole background with it. sure I dried my gesso thoroughly after applying it. I took a wipe and started wiping off the gesso in some areas. The good thing is because I had dried it thoroughly, the gesso only came off the places where the wax was underneath because it was resisting the gesso. The places where there was no wax, the gesso still remained there. That's why I needed to dry the gesso because if I had it wet, then using a wipe would just remove everything. By only being removed in certain places, it gives it a peeled paint effect in the background, which is really cool. I have used this technique before, but instead of using wax, I've used Vaseline and it works just the same and it creates a really cool uh, peel paint effect. And I am linking the and this video above so you can see the difference and how cool you can use this technique for this for to create your own projects. Instead of using a wipe, I could have used another type of scraping tool or a palette knife to just scrape off the gesso. But well, the wipe was just most handy and I just used it that way because it was easy to press and take off that excess. The next layer was adding a little bit of texture. I took Prima's woven 6x6 stencil and using some Prima Finabare modeling paste created a little bit of texture in the background. As you can see, I used my silicone brush from Prima to put the modeling paste through the stencil. I also used it before for the soft gel medium to apply it and seal the paper towel. I find this an amazing tool and I've used it so often lately since I got it and I've linked it below as well. As always all the supplies are linked below in the description area. I found these silvery gilded butterfly stickers in my stash. I've had these for so long since the beginning of time from the scrap my scrapbooking days and I just thought they were perfect for this page. Then I die cut the word create from Heidi Swap and I glued it to the background using soft matte gel medium. I also used the medium to seal the butterflies as well. To add some more silvery color to the border, I took Prima Finabare Art Alchemy Wax in the brushed iron color and I started applying it around the edges and on top of all the raised areas. I usually apply the wax with my finger because I have more control that way and it's really soft and nice to use. So I just applied it all around and it gave it a really nice border and framed everything. Then, 
because it was too silverish I took some rose gold wax as well and just blended it with the silver because it matched better with the center of the composition Finally, I took some Ecoline white watercolor paint and used it to make some splatters in the background. I find that this specific uh, watercolor paint makes the best splatters and I love using it for this specific reason. Thank you so much for watching. For more inspiration, subscribe to my channel. Bye!